Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're doing amazingly. Uh, today, as you can see from the title, we'll be talking about our experiences and what we've done so far since we started FBA. What can we say about it so far? It's been nothing but a learning experience like any initial business startup. The first step we took was actually deciding on doing it. We then saved up money for it and it took us a while, but it gave us time to do research. If you guys have any questions on how we save money, we had made a video on how we utilize apps and how we did it. Right. We'll have a, a link in the description below. The step after that caught us really off guard was uh, product research. Because initially we thought that we had to think very hard about a product that we wanted to sell. And it was just a misconception that we had at first. It's also the very important step, the most important step actually. We saw that iPhone chargers or any phone chargers were selling all the time, but we were seeing that they were being sold separately, just bundles of wire. So we were thinking, hey, why don't we bundle the wires with the actual plug? We were doing math for thinking that it was a good idea, but that's not how it is supposed to be at all. It's not how it works at all, actually. No. <laughs> Honestly, you have to find any product that sells. Of course, you have to look at the market and you have to study its market and see how well it's doing and again take its competitors and if it's a market that you could actually compete in. Um, we study and we look through various YouTube videos uh, and then she was gathering information about yep. each one of them and then she just like stocked it up. Yeah, I was compiling like information and then in a virtual notebook that I was just constantly sharing with him. But it was super time consuming combining and gathering all these different steps from these various different YouTubers so we ended up deciding to buy a program consists of one big information block. Included uh, different templates on how to contact suppliers from our now mentor. He actually also recommended us to use uh, a tool called Jungle Scout, which dissects the market on categories of things that are selling on Amazon. And then it tells you how well it's doing, its revenue per month, its competitors it's doing, it tells you the reviews. And we use that tool to be able to choose what a product is going to be. With Apple Jungle Scout and various methods, we found this one item. But this item eventually led to a dead end because we failed to recognize its weight and dimensions into the financial equation. Our second attempt of finding a product actually started with having very limited suppliers. And after bargaining with prices and calculating, we predicted that we weren't going to break even, even if we sold over our units that we were planning to buy. However, the last supplier uh, didn't have our product that we had in mind, but he did mention a couple of other products they could provide us with. And lucky for us, we researched them and then we saw that they weren't doing pretty well. And so we eventually decided on one of them. Unfortunately, it's a tricky time right now because our supplier is located in China and right now they're starting to prepare for the celebration of Chinese New Year's. They're going to be going away for an entire month. Hashtag jealous. <laughs> but fortunately, our supplier agent was very kind and is about to send our sample before the factory goes on vacation. So this is where we are right now. We are currently waiting for our sample item and once we receive it, we can then decide if its quality matches our expectations before we put in our initial order. That's it, right? Yeah. That's all, that's all we've really done? That's it. So I guess that's it. Potatoes out. There's just like various um, math equations. With the help of Jungle Scouts. No. <laughs>